County Sheriff Christopher Smaling says election laws were shattered. Former President Trump urging people to watch the news conference. The sheriff uh, supported him in 2020. Democrats say it is just a publicity stunt. The case comes from one nursing home in Mount Pleasant, and that's where we go live to where Jason Calvi for details. Jason. Well, Mary, the sheriff says it's a complicated case. One year in the making, it involved search warrants as well as interviews with staff and loved ones of residents here at this nursing home. And while the sheriff is alleging crimes were committed, he's not yet recommending charges. In past years, 10 or so residents of Ridgewood Care Center voted. In 2020, it rose to 42. Family of eight of them say their relatives didn't have the cognitive ability to vote. BH would ask her own son, who are you? She couldn't even recognize her own son, and she, she happened to vote in two elections in 2020, but no other elections. The case started with Shirley, a resident here who died in October 2020 and voted in the presidential election. Her daughter, Judy, filed a complaint alleging her mother with diminished mental capacity was taken advantage of. How could my mother know that her vote was recorded accurately? She couldn't see. And she was informed, Judy was informed by the staff, that the staff hoped that the other employees would be honest. A years long election investigation. You will see firsthand that the election statute was in fact not just broken, but shattered by members of the WEC. The commission equally divided between Democrats and Republicans voted five to one during the pandemic when nursing homes were limiting visitors that municipalities across the state should not send special voting deputies into nursing homes. They're normally deputized by clerks. Pairs of them normally help nursing home residents vote. That means the staff at the facility absolutely positively cannot, by this law, assist in the execution of the vote. But the Wisconsin Elections Commission gave nursing home staff tips on how they could help. That is the completion of the crime. And now the sheriff is asking the attorney general of Wisconsin to investigate statewide. The attorney general's spokesman or spokeswoman rather says that they're confident that local law enforcement and district attorneys in Wisconsin will take voter fraud seriously and that if there are credible allegations of fraud, they will be thoroughly investigated by local law enforcement. Wisconsin Democrats today are calling the Racine investigation a waste of taxpayer money. The Wisconsin Elections Commission has just scheduled an emergency special meeting at 6 o'clock. Reporting live in Racine County, Jason Calvi, Fox 6 News. All right, Jason, thank you. And we have streamed all of the sheriff's news conference. You're going to find it on a post on our homepage. We invite you to get the Fox 6 News app if you don't have it already to receive alerts and future live events events.